All right, hello everybody, Skyrim here, back again with another Diablo Immortal video. It is time, everybody. We need to make our voices heard, and we do have an opportunity to do that. What I mean by this, it's on. I will link both links in a, uh, the description, or actually probably in the comments. I'll pin. I'll put it in the pin comment section uh, down below once I upload the video. Um, what I'm talking about plain simple if you haven't seen it already i'm doing my part as far as you know since this is part of the the games on this channel here we go the community manager the new community manager for diablo immortal if you haven't already heard about this by the way um it is this person here uh have you been experiencing lag and latency lately well honestly we've been experiencing this for a very very long time this is nothing new it's just gotten progressively worse um, I think their servers are basically just breaking down and degrading over time and they have uh, very little if at all any maintenance to them and uh, they are probably getting close to the point of breaking um, bottom line is they probably should just replace them if at all possible at this point because any kind of maintenance they may try and do on them is is a lost cause but anyway let's get into this a little bit here um, I'm, I'm going to read this one because it's going to be the same post here as, well, you'll see in a second. All right. Hello, adventurers. We are currently working to investigate and address issues and lag and latency in some game modes. <laughs> some, uh, it's pretty much all, but there are varying degrees. There are varying degrees of lag and latency, um, mostly in uh, PvP and I would say the, well, mostly in PvP and the PvP events, but the events get the lower totem pole ranking for their uh, server usage so that's how that works um, but anyway lag and latency in some of the game is I'm going to finish reading this first sorry uh, assume you've reported if you experienced uh, issues with lag recently well, it's been ongoing for quite some time have a moment to share your experiences with us greatly appreciated help us get to the bottom of this and address the problems quicker uh, okay uh, if you have experience lag in battlegrounds and other modes please provide us with the following information and then you get your server name which game modes are were impacted when did you start experiencing the lag um what is the severity of the lag for battlegrounds specifically where uh wait were were there any improvements to lag in battlegrounds since last night oh i did not see that until just now reading it out loud last night huh okay this is dated the 31st so th did they do something i did not notice and if anything um i don't know that's hard to tell i didn't really do too much battlegrounds last night uh, as far as this post goes myself so i couldn't exactly tell it's random when it occurs usually when the servers get the most heaviest of traffic um the peak hours of the day is when it's the worst midday is pretty bad i know um let me see what else sometimes at night yes and i've had the early mornings for battlegrounds be absolutely atrocious to where um our whole team couldn't even move could, uh, couldn't even tell what was going on we'd be our own team members would be bouncing around the map and they've stated in so many words saying uh, I'm rubber banding all over the place or teleporting all over the place and I don't know how or why and I don't mean to I've seen you know, Teammates comment like that and I'm like, yeah, it's pretty terrible um, It was very unplayable that morning um, So I just gave up and then I came back later and it's about our grounds later in the day and it was fine It's random at best but there are again a certain peak hours of the day to where of course the traffic is going to be the worst uh, another example probably would be the around the time of shadow wars because lo and behold forever ago they decided in their infinite wisdom to put instead of how they used to be shadow wars used to be kind of staggered the the match the matchups would be staggered like every half hour or whatever and that was kind of nice to be honest now they put them all at the same time so we can only guess how that was a glorious brainchild of an idea because you're loading everybody in and out of the of the fight of those maps 
at the same time loading the server with all that traffic all at once what do you think is going to happen um so yeah that one could be adjusted um i don't know everybody here you know like i said we all have our voices to be heard here on this one i'm putting i'm doing my due diligence is putting this out there it's already going to be of course on some of the other channels as well but i don't care if this is repetitive this is something that really does need to be addressed we are given a platform here apparently finally after months and months and months and months of nothing this might be finally a step in the right direction to get the ball rolling so let's try to look at this as a positive more than a negative at this point no matter how much we know like oh and roll our eyes and say yeah yeah right you know uh, screw them but now give this it's fair shot basically let's just give it its fair shot um you know guess as best as we can like i said i'm going to put the link to this um down below um so you guys can respond to it this is on the forums for blizzard here and 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 it's not just there but it is also on the reddits the old popular reddits of course it is why why wouldn't it be there um so same pretty much issue the same you know verbatim response here i think yeah it looks that way yeah yeah, yeah. it's the same it's the same copy paste so there you go i'll link both of them in the pinned comments down below you guys can uh feel free to put in all the information you need you know with it you know obviously within reason whatever it says they want there in the bullet points obviously server name game modes etc etc um have at it and let's try to get something going here i guess something's better than nothing let's put it that way um which is why i want to kind of shine a a big beacon <laughs> and stretch out to as many people as possible on this issue so be sure and share this to um, everybody that you know that plays the game of course and and then some um so we can kind of get this um and really kind of i want i want to get like a landslide avalanche effect going here in their direction um obviously this is more i think well you know what blizzard might have more of a hand in the server as well than what we think i mean they kind of have to because it's localized especially in um you know north america and such um so you know blizzies covers i'm not entirely sure but i mean they i mean they do the majority of it as well but they might be sharing servers and that kind of um whatever they're doing with the servers i don't know i'm just speculating on that one i don't know the ins and outs of all the technicalities necessarily but we can all speculate and that's kind of where we're at with this so again i'll put both uh, both uh, links to these pages here in the comment in the pinned comment down below click on the link of course it's safe don't worry it's safe <laughs> it's gonna be these ones here like i'm posting and um feel free let me let's go ahead and scroll down here um see two major uh, let's look at some of these comments here of course i recognize that name two major easily identifiable things cause a mess like at the moment is being in the same instance as a player in immortals fire and firestorms huh i haven't really noticed that myself because i use a lot of firestorms in battlegrounds but i have noticed the lag um the load lag not the lag but the load lag is extremely extremely uh, atrocious um as a pc player going to do vaults on the immortal side loading in it's i'm waiting there for like six days before i can actually load in sometimes it'll crash even um because it's so unstable it's to the point where it just wants to break itself and you can tell because sometimes you'll get a black screen first and then you'll get a loading screen and the loading screen seems to the initial load in of course is always slowest but you think that after running a couple runs of that it wouldn't be so bad but no it, it still is it's really it's really terrible i'm watching everybody else get in there they're already halfway down running towards the you know the boss room and vaults and i'm just loading in like hey wait for me guys uh, i think that's a pc uh, lag issue there for sure it's gotten really terrible the past couple patches um, before it wasn't anywhere near that bad it was you know a little off you know in general compared to mobile 
but it's gotten way way worse so it's not just a uh lag thing overall it's i think there's some kind of disparity between this um pc version and the mobile version as well um i think the pc version might be more on blizzard's end which is no surprise so they definitely have got a, a lot of work there all right so okay there we go there's that hey it's nice let's keep reading some of these while we're over here it's nice asking the community for subject experience um then this person here of course is a network performance engineer hey <laughs> ask if they'll uh i don't want to say hire you maybe they'll you know work out some kind of deal and you know give you like a contract uh job if you know they're saying this so many words here as to me as a network performance engineer putting lag event stats collecting code into our apps yeah that's just gonna load everything up even more but you know that might even bog things down worse but who knows <laughs> nice flex my guy yeah anyway i'm not gonna go into this you can read these yourselves and, and kind of laugh at some of the ones but in all seriousness which unfortunately <laughs> this is reddit here so you're gonna get it's gonna be hit or miss so let's go back to the other one instead you know uh, the more official blizzard forums instead um even though that's one sometimes can be hit or miss um whether they look at it or not but trying to be positive at the end of all this let's wrap this up nice little bow again this is the steps in the right direction anyway at least there's a finally an outreach and it's sad that it took this long i have to say but at least there's an effort something's better than nothing again reiterate that point something's better than nothing here make our voices heard put the information in there they're asking for um i've given a couple examples obviously in this video about where it's been i think the most and where it peaks the most again shadow wars time frame where they decide to just dump all of us in there at the same time and run those that was just absolutely stupid they need to go back to having them staggered every half hour or so again that worked out better because it wasn't so much of a server strain the vault on the other hand i have no idea that's more or less i think a pc um server issue that they need to hash out somehow because it has gotten terribly bad in the past couple updates that one that's all on blizzard's end i think and they're just gonna have to resolve that but it does need to be mentioned to them so they know what to expect um let me see battlegrounds of course battlegrounds is hit or miss honestly battlegrounds is really hit or miss and sometimes it's every other match or every couple of matches there's no real way of pinning that down i think it all depends on uh what players you're getting and from where um they're located uh, you know from a client side to the server side and then that kind of you know spirals out after that you'll get some guys that just bring lag with them and then it just you know spreads like a plague to everybody else and then it's terrible but anyway I'm going to wrap this up. I've said rambled on long enough. Again, put our voices, let our, get our, get our voices out there. Let them be heard. Respond to these in kind, of course. Um, and let's see how this can pan out and hope for the best. Let's just hope for the best for once on this. I really, really hope for the best on this. Anyway, until next time, everybody, the pin comments will be down below. Obviously with the two links to these pages here and feel free to fill them in. And both, if you have both a Blizzard account for the forums and Reddit as well. So have at it, let them know, and obviously let them have it too. So anyway, until next time, stay safe out there. Real world on fire as always. Take care of yourselves as best you can one day at a time. That's all we can do. Until next time, see you.